so what are the security goals uh, this is crypto system lecture one confidentiality can be defined as an act of protecting the information from unauthorized disclosure of an entity so we can protect the system by unauthorized from unauthorized disclosure of an entity integrity can be defined as an act of protecting information from unauthorized modification of an entity so we can protect the system from unauthorized modification of an entity what is availability availability can be defined as an act of protecting information from unauthorized destruction of the entity so we can protect from unauthorized destruction of an entity next what is authentication uh, authentication is defined as a way to ensure that the entity is indeed what it claims uh, so through authentication we can ensure that the entity is what it claims for example if i know your facebook id i cannot log in in the facebook id why can i log in with the facebook id reason being just knowing the id is not enough along with the id you have to also have the password the password is nothing but a way to prove that the id is belonging to you so the entity is claiming that he only is the one who is logging inside the facebook account next is non repudiation is defined as the way to prove your actions to prove your actions for example if i send an email over to you over some secure network so an email is sent by me over a secure network then neither should i say that i have not sent the email nor should you claim that you haven't received the email so non repudiation is a way to prove the actions of the people the action says that you have sent the email and the receiver can also not deny that it has not received the email so confidentiality cryptographic encryption decryption integrity cryptographic hash availability antivirus software firewalls authentication means passwords like i told you about facebook tokens biometrics etc non repudiation is digital signature there is a digital signature which is done why is that done to prove the authenticity of the sender and the receiver to prove that the person is what he is claiming uh, he is claiming of sending the so and so email uh. threats to the system interception interruption modification and fabrication these are the threats to the system attacks that is attacks can be an active attack or a passive attack uh. passive attack is a type of the attack in which the attacker will just see he will not make any kind of changes see, if you are putting your password he will just see the password uh, he will just restore the information uh, he will not make any kind of modifications whereas in an active attack modifications are made here you have modifications uh, so the various attacks are virus worm trojan horse packet sniffing packet spoofing dns spoofing dos dos and ddos that is distributed denial of distributed attacker so these are the two types uh, denial of 
service attack this is denial of service attack which is a type of active attack and this is distributed denial of service attack dns spoofing use of one attack to do another attack so attacker uses one attack to do the another attack domain name system spoofing so dns full form is domain name system spoofing domain names so these are all the domain names www.wikipedia.com facebook.com these are all the domain names and there is an address given to the domain name taxonomy of attacks attacks can be of two types active attack or passive attack in active attack you have interruption modification fabrication under passive attacks it is interception na release of contents example trojan horse traffic analysis example packet sniffing so you're not modifying anything you're just analyzing the traffic or you're just release of contents means just collecting the data just collecting the information na interruption is example worm and dos modification is message alteration that is the virus fabrication replay attack example packet spoofing so what is replay attack replay attack is nothing but there is a attacker the attacker will first collect the information and what will the attacker do the attacker will send this information at a later point in time ah so it is like replaying a particular music the attacker will also send that information a second time and the person might think that it has come from the original sender of the message so it will send at a later stage it will replay the message at a later stage example of fabrication is dos and denial dos distributed denial of service attacker what does a denial of service attack means the attacker will overload the capacity of the system so if the user has requested for a particular id or password that user will not get that id or password because the attacker has overloaded the system with lot of request and these request are sent through various other various devices so it is assumed that it is sent through various devices but actually it is sent through only one device and the system becomes overloaded with a number of request so the actual user who wants to request for a id or a password will not be able to access it next is types of crypto system in types of crypto system we have encryption algorithm decryption algorithm key plain text and cipher text 